Only on five tonight, Oregon is ranked nationally when it comes to reproductive health and rights. The state was one of only five in the country to receive an A in the Population Institute's annual report card, specifically citing Oregon's comprehensive sex education in schools. Still, the state has an above average teen pregnancy rate that's even higher in counties in southern Oregon. This week in an NBC5 News special report, we're looking at teen pregnancy in the valley and how schools and local organizations are working to keep those numbers in decline. You can just see at a, just a very quick glance that Josephine and Jackson County are well above the state average in terms of pregnancy rates. Teen pregnancy is a reality more teens will face in southern Oregon than in other parts of the state and the country. 66 percent. A reality Dr. Tamara Medley witnesses firsthand. For the year of 2016, I was able to see that we delivered more than 70 teens, and that's from age 15 all the way up to age 19. And I think that's a very, very high number considering considering that we only do about 800 deliveries a year. According to the most recent state data from 2016, the average teen pregnancy rate in Oregon for girls ages 15 to 17 is 9.6 for every 1,000. The averages are higher in Jackson, Josephine, and Klamath counties with rates of 11.3, 11.1, and 18.2. If you include data all the way up to age 19, Jackson County Health Promotion Manager Tanya Phillips says the gaps get even bigger. Looking at where the state is and where Jackson County is, it's about a 26% difference. The reasons why are hard to identify. National trends point to poverty, access to health care, education, and family well-being as contributing factors. We try to get them going in this direction. The ways to prevent teen pregnancy are more clear. The things that we know prevent teen pregnancies uh, is making sure that youth have accurate information uh, and making sure that youth have access to health services that they need. Both of those components should be being addressed in Oregon classrooms. The state has one of the leading sex education policies in the country. So what's missing? If you're looking at policy and, and state level stuff, I think we're, we're ahead of the pack. Um, I think we, we lose ground when we look at implementation. In Jackson County, there are only a few educators specifically trained in sex education, two at Planned Parenthood. It is such an important part of our programs. And one with the county. It's evidence-based best practice. Both agencies pull from curricula that's been tested extensively and has proven success. It gives youth the opportunity to make informed decisions. There's a correlation between comprehensive sex ed access to birth control, you're going to see those teen pregnancy rates go down. You're going to see teen STI rates go down. But not all curriculum is created equal, and some say that's putting Southern Oregon students at risk. They aren't necessarily giving the students all the information they need. So what's being taught in your child's classroom? Coming up tomorrow on NBC5 News at 6, we'll look at what the Oregon State Standards for Sex Ed are. Is the curriculum working, and could it be better? The answer is tomorrow at 6, only on NBC5 News.